I'm giving away three chokers and all you need to do is be subscribed to this family and give this video a big thumbs up. Winners will be announced on my Instagram and in my next Saturday's video. Good luck guys. Hey guys, it's Wenji. I hope you are doing amazing. Hold up, if you haven't subscribed, take a second and click the button to join this amazing family. I love you guys so much. I also love elephant seals, and I've been getting so many requests to do this look, so here it is. Of course, we're starting with a primer because it's summer for most of you guys, which means you have huge pores, foundation is melting off your face, and you kind of need all the help you can get. Going in with this dewy foundation, make sure you only put a super thin natural layer because it's going to be hot and humid and you don't want to have a heavy feeling on your face. I got this feeling inside my bones. Go in with a concealer to cover everything else up. So use a lighter color concealer as a highlighter as well and apply it to all the spots that you want to bring out such as under your eyes, nose bridge, forehead, chin and cupid's bow and then blend this well. This will be your highlight color. This is completely optional. I'm using sticky tape here as a guide because this stick contour is actually a really dark color so I didn't want to get this wrong. And then you create this triangle here. I'll show you. This is the guideline. And then what you want to do is apply the contour stick into that triangle underneath your jaw and across the sides of your forehead to really slim down your face. And then what you want to do is just blend this super duper well. No lines guys, just keep blending. Just keep blending, just keep blending. What do we do? We blend! Okay. That was super bad, but I do miss the emo. Kind of gives me a very warm and bronzed glow, almost like I've been out in the sun and got a tan. So I'm setting this with a cool toned contour to kind of tone down certain parts of this warmth, and that is just under my cheekbones. Now you want to get the highlighting powder and set your concealer and highlight your forehead, bridge of nose, cheekbones, cupid's bow, and chin, and this will give you the perfect contour. <laughs> Contour your nose from your eyebrows and your nose bridge. And I also like to contour across the bridge of my nose for a cute button nose. So just dance. Now I'm drawing a natural brow arch, cleaning up the top and bottom lines of my eyebrow and then filling in towards the end of the brow where I need it. But guys, I have very, very dark brows. And then you want to use a brow mascara and lighten your hairs or a clear brow mascara to set your hairs in place because yeah, like you know, my brows are dark and I need to bleach them. For a super sharp and clean brow, take some concealer and a brush and clean out the outlines because even though we've been super careful so far, if you're like me, you probably would have gone over the lines somehow. So clean it up with a brush and it will look amazing. You would never know you made any mistakes. Apply a matte highlight all over your eyelids for a super nice blendable base and it also brightens up your eyes. Now take a transition color and extend it from your crease in a winged shape. And I like to do this because it makes my eyes look longer and I'm just kind of going through with my eyes open and blending it along my crease out into a triangle. If you're having trouble figuring out where to apply this color, I'm now using a flat brush and creating a winged line as well as a guide. This will give you a nice wing kind of transition color. Now we take a blending brush and blend it all nicely and make sure it all looks even. Now take a pearl highlight color, apply it to the brow bone and also on your eyelid and this will create a slight cut crease or just make your eyes look a bit more contoured. Now apply a light gold as well all over the eyelid and this will finish off your eyeshadow look. Super simple, only used a few colors. Now we take a blending brush and blend it all nicely. Now draw a straight winged liner using a liquid liner. Now don't angle this too high and extend it out as much as you want because we want this look to stay kind of not so, I guess, extreme and harsh by creating a straighter wing. It's a little bit more cute. So this is a trick if you guys have hooded eyes and you still want to wear a wing liner, just angle it a little bit lower so that you can keep it from being swallowed up by your crease which happens all the time for me. Now using a gel pencil liner as well, 
super duper carefully line your lower lash line like ever so slightly like super thin we just want to define it but we don't want to see like a lot of color so just be really really gentle with this step now apply some natural looking wispy lashes i chose these demi wispies and they are amazingly natural and i've just been wearing them a lot and then apply a simple set of lower lashes and seriously look at the difference lower lashes make now i never wear lower lashes that often but when i do it looks amazing you can just use mascara on your lower lashes but mascara never sits well on me Next, I'm applying a peach blush on my apples and blending up towards my temples. And this has a really nice highlight shimmery kind of pearl effect. And then apply the remaining product over your nose for just some added cuteness. All through my city, all through my home. Now line your lips with a pinky nude lip liner. This will create a very nicely defined lip. And I'm also slightly overlining my top lip. And I also like to overline my lower lip to balance out my top lip. Now that I have Invisalign, my top lip is actually quite full. And fill it in as well for a long lasting base color for what we're gonna put on next which is a pinkish nude liquid lipstick, which I feel like is the perfect kind of peachy nude. And this is really flattering on my skin tone. And finally, if you've made any mistakes with your lips, clean it up with some concealer and no one will know. And now we're done with the makeup look. I hope you guys like it. And let's move on to the hair. Split your hair in half, and this is optional if you want more volume. But you can actually section off your hair and do little plaits and run this through a hair straightener for a little bit of a crimp. Or you can leave your hair in plaits overnight, or you can curl your hair beforehand just to give you guys a little bit more volume before you put it up in a bun. Because I don't know why, but once you put it up in the bun, it just looks really small. And I like big buns. <laughs> I like big buns and I cannot lie. Yeah, okay. Now take half your hair, start twisting and twisting and twisting. And if you keep twisting, it will create a little bun at the top of your hair. And then you just take a clear elastic and tie it up around the bun. And this should stay for quite a while. And I find that I could just re-twist it into the bun again if it becomes loose or anything during the day. And it's really, really simple. Just keep twisting, just keep twisting. So yeah, do the same on the other side and we've got really cute, um, I'm gonna call them space buns or Sailor Moon buns. I don't know. What do you guys, what do you guys think we should call them? I got this feeling inside my bones. It goes electric wavy when I turn it on. So I paired this look with high-waisted ripped black jeans and just got this amazing kind of rip on the thigh. And then I have this black sporty looking bodysuit tucked in with a very interesting print on the front. And a bodysuit will ensure that nothing becomes untucked during the day and that it's just really, really tight all the way down your body and it just looks super sleek. And of course, I have to wear a choker because you know I'm obsessed with it. But this one is super cute. Kind of looks like a Sailor Moon choker. It's got a little like circle. I'm obsessed with chokers, guys. Obsessed. Now for shoes, of course, I have to pair it with my Nike Air Max Thears. And they're so comfortable. So let me know down below if you love this look as much as I do. I wore it to YouTube Fan Fest. And yeah, I was just obsessed with this outfit. Don't forget to have an amazing day, guys. I love you guys so, 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 so much. And... See you in a couple days. Don't miss me too much because I'm going to miss you. Okay, bye.